Angelia and their excellencies of Karakvan, Hiroaki and Kazuhiko. Their Excellencies of Karakban invite into court the assembled territorial baronies of the Midrow. Hello, thank you all so much for being here with us. Thank you especially to your most royal highnesses. Thank you, Illiton, for your struggles in <coughs> arriving. And thank you very much, Cousin Ball. <laughs> As we do have the joy of your presence here, uh, would you like to take care of our newest members? We would be most honored to do so. This here opens the court of the Barony of Karakban, Baron Hiroaki and Baron Kazuhiko. Their Excellencies and Their Highnesses call into court anyone for whom this is their first event. <laughs> They're gonna bite you. You can step up. <laughs> so we have a we have a tradition in the Middle Kingdom uh, for those who are newcomers. Uh, we wish to welcome you and gift you uh, what may be your first cup. So we invite you to use this and please uh, return and fill it many times and make many memories uh, in your you. travels around the lovely kingdom. Thank you for joining us. We Thank hope you. to see you all again. Ragnarok is the Barony of Karakban's premier event, and this is by far the largest one we've ever had. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> <laughs> and last year, there were some other newcomers that I specifically want to thank for coming back. We have at least three anniversaries, the first year that these people have been playing in the SCA. So you don't necessarily have to stand if you don't want to, but I do want to shout out to Kenneberga, Cyrus, and Astra for staying with us. I also want to know, Astra specifically has already leapt in and has hosted a Roman cooking day. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Just pause, so. So these people have thrown themselves wholeheartedly. So thank you for sticking around. And I hope the newcomers who just received cups will also be coming back. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you like those cups as much as these people did. <laughs> <laughs> for the anniversaries, huzzah! huzzah! Their Excellencies would like to note that today is the birthday of Susanna of Ayrton, and thus we shall all sing, or else. <laughs> Susanna, you are called to present yourself before their highnesses. And a one, and a two, and a three. Happy birthday. Stronger now. <laughs>
Or Susanna and her unnumbered birthday. Huzzah! Huzzah! Their Excellencies call forth Kadrin the Red. Be it known that we, Akiyama Kazuhiko and Akiyama Hiroki, barons of Karakban, are minded to make unto Kadrin the Red an award of the coin. Kadrin has done so much service for the barony, notably providing the fund that was the site token decoration at that, this last December's winter revel. I know for services right now. Thank you. For Kadrin, huzzah! <laughs> Their Excellencies call into court, Piero Patroclus. Woo! So let it be known that Piero Patroclus has earned a bail in the Barony of Carrick Bond. And this would be done with much fancier text and uh, would have, like, really good art, uh, except that the scribe who was assigned this scroll fell down on the job and just did a really, really bad thing and didn't even try. Uh, that scribe was me. <laughs> I am so sorry. So you have earned an IOU. That's a fancy text. <laughs> and so I need. Oh, hand me that. Hand me Piero's. Oh, okay. excellent. So we do love you. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I so swack him heartily for the Thank you. <laughs> but you are loved. Harder. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> That's for after me. Oh. Huzzah! Their Excellencies call forth their heavy champion, Aaron Freed. So recently we uh, went through all of baronial storage and found uh, your, um, uh, what's this called? Baldrick. Baldrick. So I wanted you to at least see it before I took it away from you. <laughs> there it is. So here you go. All right, now thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. the Wait, wait, wait. Put, put, it it put, it put it on. Go ahead. Look fancy. Well, we need a picture. <laughs> Thank you very kindly for your two years of service. Here's you are retainer. relieved of your duties for now. No more exploding beer. We promise not we to We can get you more exploding beer, beer if you'd like. Thank you. Thank you. You're still fighting for us, right? <laughs> I'll get you more beer. <laughs> Always. The last stuff exploded in his pantry. Their Excellencies called Sir John Aaron Freed. For John Aaron Freed and his service as Carrick Bond Heavy Champion. Huzzah! Huzzah! Their Excellencies require the presence of Captain Duncan. The monster. Woo! I'd be handed a note. Hi. Hi. We're the ones that went in this room. Great. Howdy. Okay. Hi. Yes, excellent. Good. Um, something, something, French girls. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So in order to choose our new champion for armored fighting, uh, we had a very serious and important tournament. And this tournament was not to find who was the most uh, powerful, winningest, bestest fighter. It was instead to find the fighter who died the best. Oh, yes. I would like to mention that there was some very stiff competition. Oh, 
Sunday. Uh, uh, <laughs> there were some really solid deaths out there, at least one from food poisoning on bad soup. So. <laughs> but, dear Duncan, died with a burbling of blood, hugging his opponent as he expired. Oh. Truly the visceral I just horror. Oozed, just oozed down the front of his opponent, and it was, it was moving. I'm leaky. I got, <laughs> I got misty eye. Might have been the sweat. But, and um, for this, we ask of you, would you do us the honor of serving as our new champion? I will serve my mind. Because if there is one thing you can count on in Carrick Bun, is we do give out ham. Hey! <laughs> right. Here's ham. We owe you a turkey. Uh, it's, here. it's here. It's here. It's not here. It's ham. But it's here. Isn't it here? Could you, uh, Baron Honda, could you do me the favor of fetching me two large turkeys from the freezer? <laughs> two? Yes. I think meat? We yes. Are, we are stuck yeah. meat. <laughs> we do, in fact, have meat. <laughs> so. <laughs> Don't just chew into it. And then cook it. Oh, no, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's just a whole bunch of turkey. Let's wait for a surprise. It's just a whole bunch of turkey. I think you are vanished. For the new heavy champion of Caragon, Captain Duncan, huzzah! Their Excellencies request the presence of Corail. Let all who read these words know that we, Kazuhiko and Hiroaki, barons of Karakban, having witnessed the remarkable and enduring service rendered unto our barony by Corail, she is a true friend to our lands who has rescued many a feast from the throes of chaos and is one of our bravest warriors, having won many a noble pillow fight. In recognition, we here bestow upon her the award of the plinth. There was no bacon, but thank you. <laughs> For Lady Corral, huzzah! <laughs> Their Excellencies demand the presence of Baron Honda. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> of deli meats? Yes. Oh, it's the case of deli meats. Okay. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> too large turkey. It's too large turkey deli meats. We'll find the turkeys. We'll find the turkeys. Maybe you'll be one of them. There may be just some loose, unspooled <laughs> turkeys. <laughs> Whatever you're right here. Yes. <laughs> Merciful in battle and skill of hand are the trademarks of any good warrior. There is one that has displayed his merits, skills, and worth on the field of battle. Therefore, we, Kazuhiku and Hiroaki, Baron and Baron of Karakban, award Honda the award of the bail for his services to the rapier community. <laughs> Picked up a whole new discipline because you saw in me and future. Suddenly, stop being humble. <laughs> For Baron Honda, huzzah! <laughs> their, ma their excellencies request the presence motion? of Magnus Gander. Ooh. So this morning, uh, the champion tournament was between. Yes, the Rapier Champion Tournament. Yes, five or six of you. Um, 
and each put up with my whims, and I appreciate that. This dear person boasted of his cooking skills as well as his rapier skills in his challenge. And so I demanded of him that he not only win in a knife fight, but he went in a knife fight while reciting his most recent recipe. Well. I did, in fact, allow him to keep some of his secret spices secret, but he did, in fact, tell me, what was the recipe again? The recipe is a tort for rustics, pimps, and their prostitutes. A tort for rustics, pimps, and their prostitutes. Okay. Truly worthy of Carrick Bond's race here. Especially and I fight. So, as our new rapier champion, we ask that you carry these with honor and dignity. <laughs> and you give me that torch. <laughs> I want some of that torch. It sounded amazing. That torch is being studied specifically for you. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. For the newest rapier champion of Carrick Bond, Lord Magnus. Huzzah! Huzzah! Their Excellency summoned back into court, Sergeant Aaron Freed. Easy come, easy go. Oh, <laughs> Hang in there, big guy. <laughs> Be it known that we, Kazuhiku and Hiroaki, barons of Karagban, having come to recognize the good service uh, contribution of and contribution of Aaron Freed, most notably his service as our armored fighting champion for multiple years with honor and at a cheap price, <laughs> you therefore wish to bestow upon him the baronial award of the catapult. His competent enthusiasm, kindness, and uh, judgment are an example of joyful service for our barony. Sergeant Aaron Free, huzzah! huzzah! Their Excellencies call forth Alexicratus Typhalus. Here, one and all, that we, Baron Akiyama Kazuhiko and Baron Akiyama Hiroaki, have seen the service and prowess of Alexicratus serving as marshal and an active fighter throughout the kingdom. Therefore, we honor his efforts with the award of the catapult. However, he may only enjoy this award if he promises to stop injuring himself. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I promise. All right. Give me that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> There were a couple of times I was worried for you in that pillow last night. It was like you wanted him to jump on one leg. Oh, no. No. <laughs> He's going to... Or Sergeant Alexicratus. Huzzah! Oh. And don't, don't go here. No, we only wanted you to have to do the knee thing once. Okay. Thank you. Alexi has also served nobly as our archery champion for how long? <laughs> a while. Four years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, four years. It's time for you to be released. <laughs> like an arrow, we shall release you <laughs> upon the world. Gimme. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the moistest baldric I've ever seen. <laughs> Part of the charge of being a champion is to maintain and know where all of your regalia is. <laughs> Good job. Give your It all came back. We gave him all of this, it all came back. So thank you again for your years of service in this capacity. For Alexi Kratos again, huzzah! <laughs> Their excellencies fall forth. 
Thana Spichui. Let it be known that Baron Akiyama Kazuhiko and Baron Akiyama Hiroaki do recognize that Thana Spichui has proven herself to be an anchor of activity in our barony of Karakban, having given both aid and action for almost every effort, most specifically in Seaban Cares projects and her role as Quince Tart with the Guild of Hearts and Tarts, the Karakban branch of the known world courtesans. For these reasons, we do bestow upon her the award of the Plinth in the form of this extremely innocent and wholesome stroll. <laughs> if there is anyone under the age of 18 in this room, please cover your eyes. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Nothing else. All right. Assuming that has been done. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, um, might I suggest you not hang this one in the family room? Or do. Or do. Or do. You know, I mean, you do you. You do you. You do you. So, um. Or so the scroll says. You'll, you'll also know. <laughs> it sounded a little rough thing. It's like a pop-up book. You have one. That's a little dull. Yeah. It's a little one. <laughs> you weren't interested in the big one? Yeah, you were back there. <laughs> oh, well. For Lady Thana. This one. <laughs> Their Excellencies call forth Aethel Wolf. Nervous? <laughs> <laughs> there was a tragedy on the way from the archery range. I spilled my bottle. Oh no. Oh, no. So, oh, no. You don't have to oh, kneel again. So today we also <laughs> had a uh, championship at the archery field. And uh, our... So there was a, a, an event of uh, trying to pin Ratatos the squirrel as it moved up and down. It was very challenging, and uh, the, the people who participated were very impressive with their arching. A couple people actually pinned it to, to the post. Yes. It was very impressive. But this nobleman here managed to hit it square in the nuts. <laughs> Before I started drinking. <laughs> Furthermore, you were kind enough to come to our barony at great expense and, and travel to teach us how to make arrows. And for that... When are you going to be ready to make more arrows? I will come out and help you out. <laughs> well, so you are truly a champion to us. When you're done, <laughs> I'll have to bring you back next year. Thank you very much. The Forester Aethelwolf, newest archery champion of Karakban. Huzzah! <laughs> Their Excellencies request the presence of Siobhan. It was late at night we heard the singing of you. Stories and songs rose into the starlit sky. You whose words fill hearts with pride of us, and you who keep our kingdom safe. You promised us joy and anthems. You promised us sorrow and ballads. We whistled and chorused, and our voices rang out, weaving amidst your skill, ascending together. You promised us glory and delivered all. Karakban is richer for your art. You promised us and return our faith. Siobhan Anengi of Kanat, a champion to all, a deep well of fame, done by our hands an award of the well at our event, Ragnarok Rampage, AS59. Woo! I should also note 
that Siobhan, in addition to being our Bardic champion, is at this event serving as our Minister of Googly Eyes. <laughs> There may, there may have been some costume. Would anybody, would you like one? Yes. For Siobhan, Their Excellency summon forth Johan of Dark River. Oh, would you be so kind? Yes. If you are willing to accept on his behalf. Thank you. We have never had a thrown weapons champion before, but we have been impressed by the efforts of thrown weapons in our uh, fair lands, and so we have decided to make Johan our first thrown weapons champion. Ooh. So if you would be so kind as to deliver these with our blessings. Thank you very much. Thank you. How did he win? He threw weapons. <laughs> really good. For Johan, the newest and obvious thrown weapons champion of Parrot Vine. Huzzah! <laughs> Their Excellencies, call forth Dame Nicola. See, hear, and know by our presence that we, Akiyama Kazuhiku, and Akiyama Hiroaki, barons are mindful of the time, labor, and love that Dame Nicola Holden hath devoted to her artistic endeavors on behalf of the barony of Carrick Bond. Over the past year, both her artistic works and her classes have been well received and lauded at events across the kingdom. Therefore, we bestow upon her the award of the fountain for her consistent excellence in arts and sciences and her service to the barony's ANS community. Dame Nicola, huzzah! <laughs> Their Excellencies request the presence of Choi Min, or someone to accept for him. Oh, hear all of the service of Choi Min unto the great barony of Carrick Bon. He hath given greatly of himself in the making of our robes and educating us in the culture of Japan. He is. Our, it is our will as barons to make unto him an award of the portcullis. Yes. It's so weak. Or Lord Choi Min, huzzah! huzzah! Your Excellencies request the return of Dame Nicola. I wish to thank you for having served as our ANS champion all this time, I believe two years, and you have executed your duties faithfully and vigorously. But it is time for you to relax. Gimme. <laughs> thank you very much for your services. Thank you, it was my honor. For Dame Nicola, huzzah! huzzah! Now is the time where I should be calling the next person who's going to get this baldric and this like, nice little thank you note. But there's a problem. You see, in order to be our ANS champion, you had to compete in our three ANS competitions. And you, you didn't have to win any of them necessarily, though if you did, cool. But you had to participate. However, the person we have selected, we had to do some digging to even make sure it was the same <coughs> person. Because they didn't put the name on the paper! You have to put your name at the top, or you don't get your point. So we did like forensic typography to figure out, ah, they're using the same formatting on all three of these pieces of paper, so whoever it is definitely did it. So, the person who has concocted a certain lovable, friendly, stuffed animal 
for, uh, yeah, I had a feeling. You already have a time machine. Get, get, get. Your Excellency, summon the anonymous Magnus. And ten points off for not putting your name on your paper. You gotta put your name on your paper. Uh, <laughs> you gotta put it on the back at least. <laughs> so Magnus's three entries, if our deductive skills are accurate, were a beautiful apple box, a gorgeous set of shoes that are going to be made even prettier as time moves on. And an incredible write-up for a children's show and or stuffed animal to be marketed only to one child in the past. <laughs> or Future. storybook? Or what the? What were you smoking? <laughs> we loved it. There's none left. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> and so it is our request that you serve as our champion of arts and sciences. It would be an honor. <laughs> Thank you. For this anonymous Magnus, huzzah! <laughs> or other organization finds that they lack the specific ways in which to effectively uh, honor the efforts of its members. And we found that, you know, we have awards for fighting prowess, we have awards for arts and sciences abilities, we have awards for services, um, but we, we didn't have an award that called out the things that cannot be seen, that cannot be known, the things that are too secret to discuss, the deeds done in the dark, Whoa. the things that cannot be said. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> and so the Barony of Carrickbon has created a new award Ooh. entitled the Oubliette. <laughs> Rishi, it is not as your pelican, but as the herald that I invite you to sit, come before their excellency to carry by. Don't be suspicious out or... Nope, no, 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 no. We're about to make you more suspicious. <laughs> Honda Rishi is much skilled in doing dirty deeds, having sent much dirty. unpleasantness to die alone and forgotten, and so now is honored with the first award of the Oubliette. Oh. Oh. This woman is amazing at getting rid of fires before we've even smelled the smoke. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> nope, that's true. <laughs> For Lulu. Shh. Not Lulu. Rachel. For Rachel. Yeah. Oh, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Their Excellencies request the presence of all members of the Shire of Black Hawk here today. Let it be known that the Barony of Carrickbon welcomes with great joy into our incorporation the hamlet of Black Hawk and receives with joy her people, her lands, and proper tributary. We hereby promise to preserve the name and Love of beloved Black Hawk, even as we extend all rights of baronial citizenry to her people. Wow. Black Hawk.
Sherlock is currently the only hamlet in the Kingdom of the Middle. A hamlet being a tiny location that maybe doesn't have the uh, population and energy to maintain the required number of officers. But Black Hawk should not be lost. And so we shall protect you as long as you so need. By this treaty, we swear. For the hamlet of Black Hawk and all her residents, huzzah! huzzah! Their Excellencies, call forth Baron Alfred, Lady Clara, and Dame Nicole, uh, Nora. Nora? No. 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 Just the two of them. Just the two of them. Yeah. The event stewards. Yes. That is. <laughs> so you are our event stewards, yes? Yes. So if you have fun today, it's these mm. people's fault. Would you be so kind as to tell my populace about the events of the day? Oh my. Um. <laughs> you have the floor. <laughs> we, as you have just heard, we are part of the hamlet of Blackhawk, and so only recently have joined the populace of the barony, and we're forced to throw <laughs> ourselves into the barony and its events by taking on the premier event in the barony and trying to provide the best entertainment, best classes, best barons. <laughs> yeah. um, we even we even got just by luck our own Midlands royalty. <laughs> I want to claim that somebody else has better claim that. Um, but I'm glad you all enjoyed yourselves. I'm glad we had a beautiful day to take take it on, and we look forward. We hope that in the future, uh, Ragnarok will continue to be an event that folks will enjoy coming to, will look to the past, having attended, and thank you again. Thank you, Your Excellencies. Thank you, Your Highnesses. Thank you to all the other nobility who were here. And of course, thank you to all the populace who are here. Uh, For the event stewards, huzzah! Of course. Um, I just wanted to say, when I started, other than small locally in, in Ravens Lake. I would drive 90 minutes to come fight at the Blackhawk practice, <laughs> save for dinner, see my family, my chosen family, drive home. Every week, I don't know how many years, but Sir Gunther, Gunther up there and the whole Black, I mean, thank you for protecting them. Forever. They have a special place in my life. I'm so glad. So thank you. Their Excellencies recall thrice, Dame Nicola. <laughs> Can we just bring her a chair? <laughs> sit down. Please, yeah, address the people. We had a wonderful, wonderful entry um, for the ANS, and we wanted to express our gratitude to the seven entrants who um, participated in all three challenges. Now the challenges for those who were not participating or were not involved in that, um, thank you, um, 
were threefold. One was for the past, one was for the present, and the other one was for the future, and this is to honor the Norns. And I have to tell you, the, uh, the Norns should be highly honored be, with the quality of the uh, ANS entries that were presented. The first one for the uh, past was judged. The second one was a um, bean count by the populace, which was for the present, and that was for a item that was un in works. And then the third item was for the future, which was judged by their ex. So I would like to call forth um, a few of the um, uh, winners that we are awarding prizes to. Um, not that all of them don't um, uh, deserve some recognition, but these were the ones that were the ones that really stood out for us for the ones that were judged. Um, and if you are present, I would appreciate you come up front because we have some um, small tokens of our appreciation. Um, for the um, past, um, the uh, overall first that were our judges decided on was Lady Asa um, Ninefingered for her wonderful presentation on uh, the various forms of knitting. Are you here? She is. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. So you get a, a prize, too, as well. So these things. So if you would like to select the box or the items in the box or the tray. I will take the tray. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for your um, entry. The second one, um, which was by someone who was a non number, <laughs> but he had a really nice box. Magnus the Anonymous. Yes, um, Magnus the Anonymous was the one that we had selected as our second uh, place. Um, and I will say that making choices were difficult. It was very difficult. Very, very <laughs> difficult. So if you would please select um, the box, the um, belt, or the... Uh, Approach. Thank you. Wait, there's more. And then the thank you so much. There was this wondrous, amazing chair that uh, Lord Sian, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, are you here? Um, uh, presented, and we thought that was was wonderful as well. So if you would um, come forward and um, make a, uh, a selection, and you may have the box or the uh, um, belt So there was one other that, thank you so much. There will be one other out of that category, but first I wanted to go to the bean count. Um, and this was the populist choice, so I'm going to have a, a word for that one as well. And that was for the Eleanor of Toledo uh, fingerless glove, which was work in process. Um, Christy Pe Pate? Yeah, it's me. That was <laughs> so you'll get a, another item. Thank, Thank you so you. much, and appreciate that. Um, the last one was a, uh, the last one was a personal challenge because I put in the write-up that I would make a personal gift to the item that really <coughs> impressed me specifically. And I kind of, it ended up being more, more like a judge's choice because um, all of us um, decided that this was a big wow factor. So the, this one goes to, um, and I'm sorry, I scribbled and I can't write find the name, but it was the Norse bag, the embroidered Norse, Norse bag. Are you here? There you are. I'm sorry, my lady, I do not have your name. 
Aldrin. Thank you so much, Aldrin. And this little chest is... Come on, open the little chest. It opens. It opens. It does. There you go. Um, we have some other items in here, but in the center, because this was a Norse item, we are offering you... <laughs> no, no, no. no. Okay. So, um, and there was also some fabric for you to continue your work. Uh, most of the fabric was there to keep this from being broken. Um, so, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And thank you to all the entrants. Um, any of our choices were very hard fraught. You are excellent, excellent artisans. For the winners and all participants in the A&S competition, <laughs> Their Excellencies call forth a representative of the Shire of Dark River. I'm told you have some business with us. I do, Your Excellency. Uh, if it's okay to address your great people and the assembled uh, I suppose this must be done, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a few months ago, the uh, Great Verity of Caragban came to our event and bestowed upon our Shire half a miracle. <laughs> half a miracle is... How many? 500 origami spots. <laughs> greatly pleased by this. Yes and wish to return the favor. May I, may I uh, invite members of the Shire forward? I love the members of the Shire. Yes, yes. come on in. Let's take a look at them all. Yeah. Their Excellencies request the presence of the rest of the members of Dark River here yeah. present. Shrubbery. So there is a shrubbery. There is a shrubbery. And to return the favor. Also a ceiling fan. Ceiling. I have the ceiling fan. Yeah. To return the favor. Of half a miracle. We heard a many number of your people bemoaning the lack of cicadas. <laughs> Bemoaning? Bemoaning? Bemoaning. So, that being heard, I asked the Shire to go out into our fields, our valleys, along the river, and get you a present that only could be worth one and, half, one and three quarters of a miracle. Uh, I'm give me the basket, I'm letting you open this. <laughs> Uh, I, I am to open the tree? Yes. Open the tree. Oh, bring, I have bring it closer. Don't you trust us? Don't stand over it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being assaulted by a shrubbery. <laughs> shrubbery. Oh, it's a fan. How to defend yourself from being attacked. We'll move it back. Yeah. 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 Now it's moving. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see there are bows and whoop and... Oh, oh my. Oh my. Wow. Oh my. That was, uh, there's a lot in there. There's only like, I don't know, we stopped counting. Oh my. There's a wee one. I found a teeny one. What? Wait. We have an industrial oh, okay. room. <laughs> there. And, and I think right. we've done it in about a month. Well, in case you needed more. Oh, thank you. Oh, I should have the rainbow one. My husband will have the black. Well, I hope you take this as the favor of the Shire. Favor our friendship. Friendship. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> they brought brooms! <laughs> <laughs> For Dark River! <laughs> we do have a gift. Oh, may I? Although, considering the last gift we gave them, I, I just 
I don't want 40 of these. I don't want 40 feral hogs. We all throw your kid people in Vancouver. Thank you very much. Sweepers! Sire of Dark River in there. Yes. Don't ruin your dinner. Well, my dear friends, thank you so much for being here. Would anyone like to speak? on today's activities? Just to say thank you to Karen Fon. Thank you to the people. Thank you to everyone who made this event happen. Thank you. And of course, we as well enjoyed uh, our day today and appreciate that you yield this event every year. We will continue to come visit. My only regret is that the day is only 24 hours long. There's still much more to do. There is. There's a lovely feast. Carry the one. As well as uh, the drag show. And there is one more important bit of business, I believe. Many of you have heard of the stirrings of discontent within the kingdom. And Carrie Bond, a little late to the argument, has been badgered back and forth. Uh, we've been asked, who, who do you side with? And I sent a plea of peace. 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 I was betrayed. Oh, no. Now, Minister of Googly Eyes, I have need of your services once more. You've been promoted. To oh. Sheriff of Googly Eyes. <laughs> and as your first action as my law-abiding, law-making citizen, oh, no. catch that man! <laughs> Baron Honda, come forth and stand before us. Speak on your treason. <laughs> My name is Pondo Calrissian. <laughs> Get that orange man over here. Uh, I could not protect you. So I open that right away. This man, who is to be my messenger, to plead for peace in a time of tension, lie. Oh. Oh. Framed my words as bellicose. Oh. Oh. Fake news. <laughs> no, he's oh. here for treason. Didn't happen. Oh. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> what? He did not commit treason. Husband, what are you talking about? He didn't commit treason. He obviously committed treason. No. He changed my word from peace to war. Yeah, I told him to.
fear the might of the Carrot Bomb Navy. Reported, sir. He's like, I'm What about bread? What about? Uh, um, um, your highnesses, this has devolved. It has devolved. Can you help us? Yes, yes, I, I, think, I, think, I think that, that we need to move on from this egregious disagreement that continues <laughs> yes. to happen. Yes, exactly. We More. definitely appreciated the, uh, what was it, the, the donut? Um, we tried. Right, yeah, yeah. with, with the it. donuts, right. So was yeah. a challenge. There was a challenge. Trying to pour glucose upon troubled waters. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, and, and all of the, all of the, the verities um, of the Midlands brought donuts uh, to the Awakenings event. And um, I still I still think the fritters are donut. Just saying. Um, <laughs> however, and now we have a bread challenge. Yes. Is there a bread challenge today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An inclusive, a loving oh. baking mm -hmm. challenge. Was, was there a winner of our bread challenge? <laughs> I I was oh. not offered to taste any of the breads. So. Oh. Oh. Luckily, there's more available. Okay. There are in fact and eggs delicious. If I may be so bold. I, I have an, an absolute winner. You have an absolute winner? Well, then I will leave that to your judgment. The best item in the inclusive baking challenge was the succumbent cake. Oh, oh, I have to try that. It <laughs> is mind-blowing. All right. So perhaps what should happen here is we should absolutely have more inclusive this happen and invite additional challenges and open it to the kingdom. Yes. Instead of just the local Midlands, perhaps. We could very well issue challenges that will be based in, say, Raven's Lake. Bastard. <gasps> Other Places that we have? Okay. Let's, let's see. Let's see. We've got several we places. Dark River. Dark River, yes. Uh, we have Sword Cliff and Caridway. Great Hope. Oh, Great Hope. The list keeps getting longer. <laughs> Shut up. This is a lot of challenges. So this many challenges. I propose. You are fair and just as you are bright and beauteous. Thank you for solving all of our troubles. Look, Dory. <laughs> we did that. We. Yes. That's right. Hopefully, uh, the you in English is plural, and that is exactly what I meant. Yes. We're in no position to argue with that. <laughs> well, thank you. Yins, yins, and Oh, yes. <laughs> from, from my old home, Atlantia, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> from, from my original home of Calentier, all y'all. <laughs> there being no further business, this court is now closed. All rise for their highnesses of the mid-realm, Killian and Jolita, and for their excellencies of Caravan, Iroaki and Kazuhiko, and for the assembled territorial barons and baronesses of the mid-realm. Oh, faker, faker. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I have to clear my throat. <laughs> oh, and the goat. <laughs> Yay, goat. And I'd like to point out that nobody ever would have expected Hillary to be the bad guy. <laughs> Never.